The water here at the hotel sucks. I mean, it, it sucks. Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ken, and I'm on a journey to lose as much weight as I possibly can so I can become a fat guy no more. So, yeah, still living that hotel life, as you can see behind me over here everywhere. Um, we were actually just told um, today, yesterday maybe, that it's, uh, it's going to be a little longer than what they had planned. Couldn't tell me exactly what that meant just that it's uh it's gonna be a little bit longer so so we're gonna be here a little while i don't know how much longer to we are uh starting our third week here now so um hopefully i'm getting uh all of those rewards points through marriott become elite before i know it i suppose the past week's been a interesting one as always is um one thing or another is happening it seems like um between finding out like i said about the house and then um you know my my diet hasn't been spectacular between living here at a hotel and not really wanting to cook a lot because i haven't been feeling that well um it really uh it's really taken a toll on me so um we have ordered out a lot i've tried to make some good choices but it always ain't the case um and you know, um, just trying to get back on track. And that's what brings me to uh, to what happened today. Today, earlier today, I decided I needed to get out of here. I needed to get out of this room and go somewhere, do something. It's been beautiful weather here in Western Washington and I just wanted to get away for a while. So I, um, I took off on a drive and I ended up down um, by Lake Washington and uh, I sat there in my car looking out and I'm like, grab the camera, go out, just sit there and, and enjoy it and maybe walk around the lake a little bit. And I couldn't do it. Um, the pain in my knees and my legs were so much that when I, I made an attempt, my body was telling me no. And maybe it's all mental. I mean, it's, it's quite possible, right? But the fact that I felt like a prisoner sitting in the car, looking out and watching everybody. Um, really bugged me a lot. But I sat there and I, and I took it all in because I knew at that moment that that was my new rock bottom. The fact that I couldn't even get out of my car really to walk across, I, I don't know, it's a small parking lot. There was probably maybe four cars parked and then the driveway there and then you start the part of the park where you can walk so it's not that far at all the fact that i was i don't know that i couldn't do it or if i was more petrified to do it what happens if if because my knees and legs have been hurting so bad what happens if i fall what if what what if and it's those what ifs that kept me petrified and kept me in the car. And it, it really, it, it sucks. It just sucks. It, it, it kept me from being able to go out and enjoy such a beautiful day to its fullest. And that really bugged me. I, um, I came back to the room and I, uh, I sat here thinking and I thought about my last week's video where I talked about one of the things I wanted to do this week was to watch other people's videos, to get back, to get immersed back into to that, to, to, to really getting that, that inspiration from the rest of you in this community. And so I sat down and I, I took time. I went and I watched uh, some of my favorites. I'll link them below, like Lose Weight Sarah, um, one step above pajamas life in the fat lane I love Zach over there um, Tressa uh, lose weight she's she's awesome too um, and of course who could forget our, our two favorites over in Ireland um, too fat too furious I mean they're just spectacular anyway so I started watching people's videos and I really got into it of course I would like to watch B Caruso and that fat guy and and just everybody's that it's like wow it, this is what i needed i needed to see other people struggling 
um, with this same thing that we're going through trying to lose weight. I needed to see that. I needed to be able to, to feel that inspiration from others. And then I came across um, a channel that I used to watch a lot for vegan cooking, Brand New Vegan. Um, Chuck at Brand New Vegan has got some amazing vegan recipes, but I, I didn't know this because I haven't checked out his channel in so long. He started a, uh, a, a journey to lose 21 pounds in 2021. And I, <laughs> he's, he's been pretty much for quite a while there. He was daily vlogging. And so I sat down and I just started watching him. And I, I got through several of them today. I ended up skipping ahead a little bit. So I went from, you know, the first week plus and then I'd skip ahead a little bit. But I watched several of them and it was so inspirational. It really was. So while watching Chuck's videos, I got to thinking about, um, about how I couldn't get out of the car and walk over to the park and how I have my trip coming up later this year and how as I sit right now, there's no chance, no chance I'd be able to do that. Um, and so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to force myself to be more mindful of things and, and, and put myself on what I'm going to refer to as, since I'm going to Joshua Tree National Park, that's the main purpose of my trip. There's going to be a lot of other stuff I want to do in California too, but the main purpose is to go to Joshua Tree. I'm going to refer to it as the the Joshua Tree Challenge. As of tomorrow, there will be 110 days till I plan to leave on that trip. So I kept telling myself, you need to get back on track. You need to get that ball rolling again. You need to, I don't know how many cliches I went through, honestly. But the truth is, what I decided to do is just start over. There's no rules that say I couldn't just start over. So this is me starting over. So in the morning, I will start day one of a 110 day challenge for myself to get myself ready to be able to go and enjoy Joshua Tree National Park and the other things in California that I want to do. I know that I'm not going to be out there, you know, making the long hikes and doing all that. I've talked about that before. I knew I would never be able to do that. But because the trip got changed from when it was originally planned, uh, to be honest, it was changed because my wife has decided she wants to fly down and join me for a few days of it. And I am absolutely excited about that. So I keep trying to get her to come with me on all my trips anyway. So, um, so we've changed it to August because it allows her to be able to come down. So the first week of August, I actually will leave the house August 1st. And so, um, with that said, um, I'm going to be tracking everything. I'm going to be putting all of my calories, all of my sodium, everything, no matter how good or how bad it is, into my fitness pal. And I'm going to have it there for me to be able to see and to know exactly what I'm doing, how things are going. And I'm going to track it. I, I know right now I don't have a scale. <laughs> I th was I just God? Was that just last week's video? Um, I mentioned I didn't have uh, a scale right now to weigh on because of uh, it's it's at the house and we can't even get into the house for who knows how long now. But um, I don't have a scale, but I know I'll be able to 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 tell otherwise. I'll be able to feel the difference, especially with my walking. Again, I have not been walking well at all lately. My knees have been really bad. So I know as I get uh, get this start going again, this mulligan, this part de, if you will, you know, whatever you want to call it, I know that I'll be able to tell that I'm doing okay. Regardless of what the scale actually says, I'm leaving it up to how I feel. And that's what's most important to me. So for this next week, um, my main goals are to try to walk a little bit. So here at the hotel, from the door right there, all the way around to the parking lot, while it's not that far, it's uh, it, it's pretty good for me. Um, so I'm going to try to do that a few times a day, regardless of weather, regardless of how I'm feeling, um, and build that up. And then depending upon how long we're here, um, try to go on from there, honestly. So um, that is goal number one for me. 
Um, goal number two for the week is that I am going to uh, keep watching everybody else's videos. Y'all are amazing. You're absolutely fantastic. So I draw so much inspiration from you. I know, I don't, I don't, I think some of you watch mine. So <laughs> um, I know that you've seen me post on your stuff that, that you're a big inspiration to me. And, and I'm not kidding. That's not just blowing smoke. That's the truth. So thank you so much for, for your videos and having it out there and sharing your experience with us. So I'm going to keep watching everything and to spend as much time as I can immersed in your videos. So thank you in advance and again for for that inspiration. Goal number three is gonna be more water. I don't drink enough, especially since we've been here at the at the hotel, honestly. So while we're at it. Um I don't know why. I don't know why I've started drinking less since we've been here. Um it's just how it's been. So goal number three, am I on three? Three? Um, is going to be to uh, to drink more water and uh, get uh, get a good amount in. I'm not going to track how much I'm, I'm drinking. I'm just going to make sure that, what are these? These are 19. So if I can drink, and I know before you give me a bad time, bottled water. Yeah, I understand. But the water here at the hotel sucks. I mean it it sucks <laughs> especially especially if you let it sit in your in your in your glass your container or whatever for a little while it just it's horrid so so we've gone back to good old Kirkland water Costco thank you very much and so um, if I can get I don't know it's not even going to be close to a gallon but if I can get four or five of these in a day I'm going to be happy so I've also been drinking I don't have any of it with me but I've been drinking from time to time uh, bubbly water flavored water so I'll have some of that as well that'll help me so um, those are my main goals and, and you know what I'm actually going to throw a fourth one in there and that's going to be to get some sleep sleep's important at least they tell me um, since we've been here at the hotel i just haven't been sleeping worth a darn I really I just haven't been so um, I'm gonna focus on that honestly and see if I can get more and more sleep and uh, I think that'll help me a lot yeah so busy week ahead for for keeping up with all of that and so I appreciate you stopping by my channel and and be looking for those uh, Joshua tree challenge um, videos coming out um, I'm gonna do them as often as I can um, just know that if it says like it's day five it was probably several days prior you know um, but it's still gonna give you a glimpse as to what I'm doing and and, and be able to share exactly what uh, what I'm doing from on my 110 days uh, before that trip so again thank you so much for stopping by my channel I appreciate it um, and I'll see you, uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to follow me on my journey to become a fat guy no more, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video.